Welcome to the Neurology Channel, a YouTube channel dedicated to all things neurology. We have a passion for sharing our knowledge and experience with others. On this channel, we cover a wide range of topics related to the brain and nervous system, including common neurological conditions, diagnostic tests, and treatment options. We also discuss the latest research and developments in the field of neurology. Whether you're a medical professional looking to stay up to date with the latest research, or a patient interested in learning more about the brain and how it works, the Neurology Channel has something for you. So, if you're interested in all things neurology, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thanks for stopping by and we can't wait to share more about the fascinating world of neurology with you. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, also known as CIDP. CIDP is a rare disorder that affects the peripheral nervous system, causing muscle weakness and loss of sensation. The cause of CIDP is not fully understood, but it is believed to be an autoimmune disorder where the immune system attacks the myelin sheath that covers nerve fibers. This causes inflammation and damage to the nerve fibers, which disrupts the transmission of signals between the brain and the rest of the body. CIDP can affect people of all ages and genders, but it is more common in men than in women. It is also more prevalent in people who are over 50 years of age. Now let's move on to the symptoms and impacts of CIDP. The symptoms of CIDP can vary from person to person, but the most common ones include muscle weakness, numbness, tingling sensations, and loss of balance. These symptoms usually start in the feet and hands and gradually spread to other parts of the body. CIDP can have a significant impact on a person's life, making it difficult to perform daily activities such as walking, dressing, and even eating. In severe cases, CIDP can lead to disability and a reduced quality of life. Fortunately, there are treatments available for CIDP. Let's move on to that next. There are several treatments available for CIDP, including immunoglobulin therapy, plasma exchange, and corticosteroids. These treatments help to reduce inflammation and prevent further damage to the nerves. In addition to medical treatments, there are also things that people can do to cope with CIDP. These include physical therapy, occupational therapy, and counseling. Physical therapy can help to improve muscle strength and coordination, while occupational therapy can help people learn how to adapt to their condition and perform daily activities more easily. Counseling can also be helpful in managing the emotional and psychological impacts of CIDP. Finally, let's talk about research and progress in CIDP. There is ongoing research into CIDP, with the goal of finding better treatments and ultimately a cure. Researchers are studying the underlying causes of CIDP and developing new therapies that target the immune system more effectively. In conclusion, CIDP is a rare disorder that can have a significant impact on a person's life. However, with the right treatments and support, people with CIDP can lead fulfilling lives. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of CIDP, it is important to seek medical advice as soon as possible. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the Neurology Channel. We hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We post new content every week so make sure to check back often for more insights and information on all things neurology. If you're interested in learning more about a specific topic, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.